Something no one tells you to expect when you turn 40 is that when you do receive compliments, typically it's followed by for 40. I'm going to share an example. So someone checks my ID at the grocery store. Oh, you're 40 years old? Yeah, I am. I turned 40 like a month and a half ago. Wow, you look good for 40. Or at the gym, somebody finds that out and they're in their 20s. Wow, you look good for 40. So you look good for 40. Whatever the compliment is, you look whatever for 40. So it's funny because it's almost a barbed compliment. Granted, I'll take it. I don't, I don't care. I mean, it's, it's important to me that I focus on what I can control and not on what I can't. So therefore, I get it. I'm getting older. But there are many things I can do specifically in how I eat and how I exercise that allows me to ultimately look good for 40. Now, it's not to say that I look younger than 40. I, I, I don't need anybody to tell me that. But I can totally accept the compliment that I look good for 40. Because ultimately, I know that largely the reason I look that way is because of things that I'm doing. There are certain things in my DNA that maybe I kind of lucked out with. You know, pretty good skin for age 40, but I also eat like a cup of uh, sauerkraut a day. I eat two tablespoons of kimchi a day. I drink a gallon of water a day. Those are things I didn't used to do, but over the past year I started adapting and, and doing those things. And it's funny because I was an adult who got acne in my 30s, up all the way, up until I started making these changes. So it's interesting to see how, well, I've been able to change things in my own life to do that. And do, am I obsessed with looking young? No, but I want to focus on what I can control and I want to work with what I got. So I'm doing those things to focus on the things that I can control. So. It's just funny though, because no one tells you, hey, life is easier after age 40. By that point, you're probably making more money than you're used to, but you're not necessarily having to work as hard to get where you're at because you've got all this life experience and then there's all that. There's the fact that you are more financially independent. Typically by 40, you don't have any babies anymore. Like for example, my youngest child is five years old, my oldest is 10. So it's not like I'm dealing with the stress of crying babies in the middle of the night, I'm getting more rest. And I can communicate with my kids as well. Plus, if you're married, I mean, I've been married almost 13 years, you know how the whole thing works. You know how to communicate better than you did your first couple of years. So there's all this stress that used to be there that's not anymore. There's all the things that you had to focus and, and kind of worry about and figure out. That now you don't, you have more space in your head. So I think that in itself. But the concept of being a youthful 40 is not just simply in how you look, but it's also in how you act. I remember, Several years ago where I worked, one of the, I was a manager at the time where I was, and there was a younger guy like in his late 20s, and he found out that another girl in the nearby department was, was 40 at the time. And he said, no way, she's 40? He said, I thought she would have been in her late 20s like me. And he said, I just thought when you're 40, you're supposed to seem tired and depressed and sad. And I think that can be the default for a lot of people who aren't focused on what they can control, keeping up with that mental hygiene, knowing that we get to decide to be offended or disrespected or people hurt our feelings. We get to control our own emotions and assign emotions to what happens. We get to choose to see ourselves as victorious or as victims, that's our choice. We get to realize that most of the things that we care about in life don't actually matter. We don't actually control them. And actually I should make this his own video, but ultimately people have their, their political beliefs as if their beliefs change anything. In fact, I would submit to you, that, I'll make a separate video, I have to now. I would submit to you that ultimately you cheering on your sports team for whatever that team is, you have more effect on them winning the game than you, whatever your political beliefs are, that actually meaning that person gets elected and or that the change happens that you want to see in the world based on a, on a politician. See, when you're older, you realize none of that actually matters. You get to decide the few things that do matter. So I think even just being able to know how to see the world in a, with better clarity, I think has a lot to do with this concept of looking good for 40.
Your thoughts belong right here.